what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel and today's video i'm going to show you how you can fix stutter or more or less fix lag here in fortnite chapter 3 season 3 if you're still experiencing it guys because the ultimative windows tweaker just recently got a new version with new features which is all we're gonna make sure that the performance of your windows pc is gonna get improved which will also give you more stable fps in fortnite if you enjoyed this content please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would help me to say so much and without any further ado let's get through in this topic And yeah guys, what I want you to do now in the first place is click on the first link in the description guys and here on the top now we have FPS boost, Ember delay, stretch resolution and all the other categories and what we actually want to do is click here on the FPS boost. Then you should get redirected and here on the top should be a post with exactly the same name and the same thumbnail as the video you're watching right now. By the way guys, I'm also uploading additional content here, something like this here, next performance mode update so therefore make sure to check it out as well. And once you clicked on the right post, you're just simply going to scroll down a little bit until you can find download which is going to redirect you to Google Drive from where you can download the following file which is going to be called UV t 5zip and what we're going to do is right click onto it and actually extract it all here onto our desktop until we have the ultimate windows tweaker version 5 guys here you're simply going to click on ultimate windows tweaker 5.0 excel and it's going to look exactly like this here guys it should show you in the first place your system information customization user account performance security and privacy and especially under security and privacy we have new features here since this is again a new version guys what you're going to do is click here on the performance guys and make sure to put all of these stats here to the lowest times possible guys here to 1000 Pretty much this one here prevents like, I don't know, if like a program is crashing on your PC that it gets closed as soon as possible, you know? Just to avoid that real quick, there's like an extra thing which you can enable in here, which is quite cool, I think. But what we actually want to focus around, guys, are all these tweaks here which we already have. Restart shell automatically after some error, increase priority of IRQ8, disable smooth scoring, disable edge type preloading, disable tablet input services and pretty much like all of these small tweaks which are just going to make your pc a little bit more faster and more stable once you get it guys you're simply going to click here onto apply tweaks and then we're going to continue with security and privacy and under security settings we already have like tons of stuff here guys and please just keep it on the ones which i have here enabled guys disable the auto login over shifting feature disable timeline feature disable user account control disable mmc snap ins and pretty much like the rest of them which i have here as well turn off user tracking disable one drive and all of them which are kind of unnecessarily on your pc then we're going to go over to um, privacy and also have here disable telemetry biometrics disable and reset advertising id disable wi-fi sense and all of these ones here which you can disable with literally zero issues guys like nothing is going to happen and they also won't change anything which you use on a daily basis. these are just like pretty much um saving data if anything happens on your pc and sending those information to microsoft servers so they can improve or work better on windows 11 or windows 10 depending which um you actually use of those but yeah we don't have to care about it really so therefore we're going to click now onto apply tweaks you should see that your screenshot refresh real quick and then everything is just applied as it should be and yeah guys do this especially once a while after each and every single windows update just to make sure that you have like the lowest possible latency settings applied on your windows pc and then we can already close it here guys and you also don't um, gotta let this program actually run while gaming this is like a one-time thing and it says here since you have applied tweaks we recommend you that you restart your pc so we're going to click onto ok reset our pc and you're already done here and yeah guys with that said this is it for today's video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would help me so so much and if you still have any more questions feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below i try to answer as many as possible and with that said have a great day have a great night whenever you're watching this and until next time stay awesome i'm out peace